Welcome back to another episode of Around the Table with Nacho and Susana. I'm so excited today that we're going to be making salsas. So excited for today that it's salsa day. We're going to make two kinds of salsas. The tatemada, which is roasted, and a fresh tomatillo verde sauce. Super easy. So for the tatemada, we're gonna put it in the oven. We have half an onion that you just need big chunks of it, because remember, we're gonna roast it. We have guajillo peppers, okay? So you just need to break this up. Just take all these little things, and then you get rid of the seeds. Okay, so get rid of the seeds, get rid of the get rid of the trash, and then we're gonna put a couple of serrano. Remember, if you wanted it not to be that hot, you can use jalapeno instead of serrano. I'm gonna do three serrano, four guajillo, and then I'm gonna need two tomatoes. You just take the stems out, just cut them in half. Then I'm gonna add a couple, like six, eight, of chile de árbol, okay? Remember, the more chile de árbol that you add, the more hot your salsa is gonna be. So let's spice it up a little bit. So I'm gonna put seven. And then we're gonna need five green tomatillos, okay? So I have all my vegetables here and three heads of garlic. Super easy salsa. You just get a baking sheet, transfer everything to your baking sheet, just throw it in there. Just throw it in there. Look how easy to make it look colorful, making some space. You add the chile de arbol, you add the garlic. Make sure that you got everything in there, okay? So then, Add a little bit of oil. So just drizzle with a little bit of oil to get it nice and toasty. Okay, probably about a two tablespoons of oil. Just drizzle it like that. And then, of course, you put a little bit of salt. There you go. And then on a 400 degree, degree oven, you're gonna roast it for about 12 minutes. Then while this is in the oven, we're gonna start with our green tomatillo salsa. Be right back. Okay, so we clean our table. The tomatillo salsa is super easy. Okay, so remember the tomatillo, you're gonna have it like that. It's gonna be covering this little thing. So you just break it out, open it up. Make sure to watch the tomatillo. They're gonna be like sticky. I don't know what, but they're super good. So I just show you how to open a tomatillo, okay? I already have here my clean tomatillos and my clean peppers. So we're gonna use the blender. Okay, so then we're gonna use eight tomatillos. It's a good idea to cut them in half. Once they're, uh, they're watched, then put half an onion. And you can start like mixing up things. You don't want all the good stuff to be on top and then have a hard time uh, mixing it. So eight tomatillos. Two cloves of garlic. I'm getting the tomatillos. And then four serrano peppers. If you don't like the sauce to be that hot, you can use jalapenos instead. Even though jalapeno is gonna be bigger in size, so you're gonna think that they're uh, hotter, they're not. So serrano is a little bit hotter than jalapeno. We like with serrano. Just put the four serrano peppers in there. 
And we're gonna use half a bunch of cilantro. Okay, so the cilantro, you just grab it here. It's already being watched. Cut it up, add it right there. Add the juice of one lime. Start smelling, start smelling, amazing. This is so fresh. I love the flavor of cilantro. And then you're gonna add a little bit of chicken bouillon, about a teaspoon, right? So let's do a teaspoon of that. And then of course, always that you're gonna make salsa, you got to add like a big pinch of salt to make it look good. You have it like that. We're gonna add a tiny bit of water. And we're gonna make this up and it's gonna be so good. We have all our ingredients in our blender. I'm gonna put it on and pulse it. So we're just gonna put pulse it about seven to eight times. You don't want it to be so grinded. Uh, you want the coarse pieces of the tomatillo. This, this salsa is so fresh, that is so good. So just about seven to eight times, and it starts to smell amazing. It's so vivid, so green, so good. And oh my God, it's gonna be very, very good. Okay, so that's our green tomatillo salsa. Remember that salsa in Mexico is like a good wine in France. You have to pair your salsa with the correct taco. So this green uh, tomatillo salsa is very good for like crunchy tacos, stuff that is gonna be with cream and stuff like that. Probably like a carne asada tacos that you want the freshness and cut through the fat of something, something fatty. This salsa, it goes very, very good. Thing. Our salsa is ready. Oh my God, look how beautiful. So look how beautiful and roasted. So you just add everything to your blender any other liquid and then we're just gonna mix this baby up i'm so excited for this you have all your roasted vegetables here um, remember add a little bit of salt salt and then you blend this one this is just blended okay so turn it on and go to town I think it's ready always try your salsas for salt I'm so excited but this is so good Yo, me. Look at that. So we have our green salsa, and then we have a red, a red tatemado salsa. Very good, very easy, very quick. We're gonna try it with totopos. Try them, let me know what you think. Mm. These salsas are so good. So hot. 
So today we're gonna make two salsas, one roasted and one fresh. 